What's up, everyone? Thanks again for tuning in to yet another great episode of Why Art. I am here with the legend Plastic Jesus. Thank you for sitting down with me. I want to get things started and really get into understanding um, a little bit about your art style. When did you realize that you wanted, as an artist, when you wanted to be an artist, that you wanted to aim some of your topics towards politics and consumption and pop culture in a playful way? I never actually consciously went out to become an artist. Um, I never went to art school or came up uh, along that discipline. I'd been a photojournalist for 20 years, uh, so I realised the power of images in culture, in news and in current affairs. And I was looking ways, looking for ways in which I could convey certain opinions and feelings that I felt about certain issues. And street art just really hit the spot with a way to do it. Wonderful, and you really do have some great ideas in how you are communicating your art as a form of rhetoric, and when some of these artists or people on the streets see some of your pieces or installations, they probably think to themselves, why didn't I think of that? Uh, share with us, what's your thought process like of kind of the, cons the consumption of the idea or the conception of the idea and how do you kind of bring it to fruition? Right. That's a good question and um, for me the, the creation of an idea, the thought process is, is very much a conscious and unconscious process. What I'll do is I'll approach an issue, a subject, uh, a news or something, current affairs that I feel uh, that I've got an opinion on or a comment that I want to get out there in one form or other and I'll start playing around on a, on a conscious level with ideas, ways I can convey that perhaps in images or installation, what I can make, physically build in terms of construct and I'll bounce a few ideas around my head and usually I'll fit, find one or two that I like. What I then do is I then park those ideas for a day or two and then come back to them. As an artist you'll get that moment of uh, a sudden realisation where you have the best idea in the world that may be in the shower or driving the car or out walking the dog and that would be the most amazing idea and you've got to jump out of the shower or pull the car over and write it down or sketch it and then you come back to it later and you think oh, actually that's shit <laughs> so I think it's a good editing process to park your idea come back to it again and again and again if need be and see if it still carries the message and has the power I also think that the unconscious mind is hugely uh, important in creating art and quite often I will come across an idea while I'm doing something utterly, you know, totally kind of disconnected about that, you know, that piece or that thought process. Um, and I'll be thinking consciously about an idea, but it's when I'm doing something entirely different that it will pop into my head like a, a switch being turned on. So you cre create this idea, you start to execute it, you fabricate it, and it's time to share it with your audience and the world. Um, some of the pieces that you do are street installations, which are short-lived or ephemeral. Um, and when they're alive, when they're on the streets, they get a strong reaction. Um, why, has it, why is it that when you create these pieces that some of the intentions are there to provoke the audience thought process or have them question things? I've always believed that uh, there's probably more power in asking somebody to start a dialogue with their own beliefs, their own uh, opinions, and get them to question their own beliefs. I mean, at the end of the day, it's what most news organizations do. You'll read a, a newspaper story, and there's an opinion in there, and that opinion will then question your own beliefs. And I think it, it's much more powerful if you can see the point of view from a questioning angle rather than being told something. I also think there's a lot to be said from a, a subtlety of a message as well. You know, you can write fuck the banks in six foot high letters on a wall, but you can also create a piece of art which makes question makes people question the uh, morality of banks. And if you question that, again, it has a greater staying power, I believe. So, completely different way to, to go about creating art. Um, on that note, what has been your favorite installation or piece that you've um, put out there into the streets that you've created, and why was it your favorite? It's difficult to decide my favorite. Um, each piece has a different meaning and a different meaning to me as a piece of art and an installation. I think possibly the best by useless plastic box, only because the simplicity of it. It was a very simple piece to execute. It was low cost, it wasn't like a huge uh, piece to engineer. 
but it made a statement. It made a statement about gadgets and consumerism and retail uh, within society today. And it got a great pickup, you know, so it clearly connected with people very well. Uh, you mentioned before that you were previously a photojournalist and now you've transitioned into becoming a full-time artist. Uh, what type of advice would you give to someone that's out there working a nine-to-five job or questioning if they should take that leap to become an artist? Um, what, what was it that you did or what advice would you give? I was fortunate that it wasn't a sudden cut-off point. I didn't just get out of bed one day and decide to quit as a photojournalist and become an artist. It was a transition. Uh, I was fortunate in that I'd be on assignment for a day, a week, or a few weeks, and then I'd perhaps get a week or two at home, which gave me the opportunity to create art, uh, test the waters, and also test, you know, communicate with galleries and other artists and see, get some idea how it worked as a business. Um, I would say if people can do a gentle transition, do it but there's nothing more motivating than hunger. So if you do make that leap off a cliff and you're not going to make your rent or you can't eat tonight, that is a huge motivator to go that extra mile or work that extra hour or create that extra piece. Yeah, stay up a couple extra hours, put in that extra elbow grease. Yeah. Uh, An artist by the name of Shepard Ferry once said that everything today is propaganda. Do you agree that everything today is, in fact, propaganda, including art? I think propaganda is a very emotive word, both in a positive and a negative sense. And if you're saying that everything today is propaganda, if if everything has a creative element about it, yes, it does. Everything around us, from the most basic uh, household object, has a creative element in the design, and it's designed in a way to make us feel a certain way about using that product or seeing that imagery. So if that's what Shepard Ferry means, then yeah, everything is propaganda, but propaganda is just uh, creativity that makes you feel an emotion or an opinion. Uh, share with everyone, what's, what's next on the radar for Plastic Jesus? Is it uh, a new installation in the streets? Is it uh, a solo show? What's on your mind? I've got a few things uh, that I'm working on at the moment. There'll be an Oscar piece in uh, 2016. I I couldn't let the Oscars go without doing a a piece again this year. I'm sure it gets under the skin and hits a nerve with the Academy Awards people. Again, it will be controversial but amusing like like the previous pieces. I'm also working on a couple of stencils which I'll execute over the next few weeks and more installation pieces as well. So right across the board, really. I'm not going to give too much away. Uh, never never want to uh, reveal all of the cards which I appreciate and like but in case all of you want to find out when the next installation is or the next stencil is going to hit follow Plastic Jesus on Instagram at Plastic Jesus um, I want to thank all of you for tuning in to uh, yet another episode of Why Art stay tuned for another one and thank you for Plastic Jesus for sitting down with me my pleasure